Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Brad Drysdale, who is the Field Chief Technology Officer for ABJ for Kong. So welcome to the jam, Brad. Thank you very much. Good to see you, Nick. Yeah, you too. Um, so for those unfamiliar with Kong, could you tell us what your key products and offerings are? Yeah, look, if you've never met Kong before, we're a cloud connectivity company that is helping developers rapidly build software in today's increasingly hybrid and multi-cloud world. A world where I think you'll find customer expectations continue to put pressure on all businesses and organizations to deliver better digital experiences and engagements. So designed for the modern era of software development, including microservices, service mesh, and other emerging architectures, our service connectivity platform, ConConnect, enables developers, architects, and operators to seamlessly connect all of their services to deliver that unparalleled digital experience and to accelerate the application delivery and deployment cycles. For IT managers, this actually represents a newfound ability to bring together all of the APIs and services that exist across the business and the broader IT landscape into that one single place to observe them, discover them, secure and protect them, and also manage their ongoing adoption and success. So for, for any enterprise looking to innovate faster and become a better digital marketplace, APIs, as we know, are proving to be the key building blocks of success, be it through APIs to modernize legacy systems, unlock silos of data, or allowing newly built applications, which often span multiple cloud environments, to be assembled and delivered much faster. Having that single place to bring together all of the APIs across a modern, often complex and distributed IT estate, I think is critical to the IT manager in ensuring security, control and governance. And ConConnect makes that possible all in a modern and fully automated fashion. Look, I think the challenge for IT managers is that their developers will today be building applications using multiple platforms, various protocols, spanning numerous patterns and architecture models, and developed using languages and tools that, are, that, that they obviously feel most comfortable with. And so it's a level of complexity a modern IT manager probably needs to feel comfortable with. It allows them to obtain the best possible talent in a heavily competitive and talent constrained market and allows them to innovate rapidly in response to those market and competitive conditions. The challenge is how to embrace all of that in a secure, manageable fashion so that complexity becomes the innovation enabler and not a crippler to productivity. And it's a real headache for the IT manager, especially when businesses especially when the, the business side is also amassing SaaS capabilities just as fast, all of which obviously bring more APIs to the table. So in terms of product offerings, Kong Connect is made up of a number of key components which help enable this vision of the connected enterprise, starting with Insomnia, which helps organizations design, test, and debug APIs, and which enables that design-first and API-led approach to service delivery. To Kong Gateway and Kong Mesh, for managing, securing and controlling these APIs and the way that they get accessed across a broad and inclusive set of platforms and patterns. Remembering that APIs are being used to connect separate applications together, as well as being the connective tissue within a modern microservice-based application. Service Hub and Developer Portal for bringing all of those API assets together into a single place for seamless discovery and adoption. And then a large selection of out-of-the-box plugins to provide all the runtime governance and controls that an IT manager needs to bring it all to life. All of this gets wrapped with an intuitive UI for embracing and driving functionality, um, along with platform APIs and command line tools for developers and IT managers to automate all aspects of the Kong platform in a way that probably feels most natural to them and which embraces their existing tools and proven ways of working. So I guess to summarize, Kong is helping many IT managers across many enterprises, both small and large, really match the accelerator to the floor when it comes to delivering new products and services, better digital experiences and more value for their customers without giving up anything in terms of performance, security and visibility. And for some companies, Kong is indeed their central nervous system. It's kind of that spine for connectivity, which helps make their business run. So last month you announced new plug and play products and capabilities for managing and securing APIs. So could you tell me what do these products do and what IT issues do they solve? 
Yeah, so we announced that recently at our Kong Summit. Look, Kong Summit was an, an, a really exciting event and it was a fantastic turnout for, for customers of Kong, soon to be customers, hopefully, and fans in the Kong community. And they came to hear about our success, our customer's success, and some new product announcements, which you know I'll talk to you a little bit about today to help solve some burning IT issues. These IT issues you know, often include uh, accelerating the journey to microservices by decentralizing applications and services and providing the API management necessary to ensure visibility and control across what, what could potentially be thousands of services, in some cases, perhaps significantly more. Another one we see is empowering teams to provide security, governance and compliance by securing and governing those APIs that they have. And this is across product level APIs, microservices, which we mentioned earlier, and also APIs which are exposed outside of the business for the active participation in that broader API economy. And I think COVID being a really good example of where this has become another really important topic. A third one we see uh, is the ability to rapidly design, publish and consume APIs by creating a developer platform and establishing that thriving culture that you need around discovery, self-service and reuse. And this is helping reduce the IT headache associated with service duplication, service sprawl, and varying levels of adoption success. And also the constant involvement from IT in every single new project. Imagine if the business and developers in the various pockets of the business could self-discover self-service and reuse existing API assets and move faster without having that heavy dependency upon, upon IT for everything. And then finally, the last one we see quite regularly is the ability to provide enterprise-wide observability, zero trust security, and connectivity across a broadly distributed, heavily decentralized, and rapidly changing modern enterprise. One of which includes one, perhaps two of the big cloud providers, perhaps even all of them. And the key to this is flexibility and adaptability. Having a connectivity platform that can flex and remain relevant is vital in helping reduce the friction of change associated with IT. Right, yeah. Um, and could you tell us what um, are the specific products you announced yeah. um, and their key features, yeah. And there were quite a few. It was a big announcement at, at Summit. So, so hang with me on this. The first key announcement was Kong Academy. We care so deeply about our customers and the users of Kong that we want to make sure we're giving them everything they need to be successful. This spans not just great technology and a platform, which is actually quite fun to use, but also key enablers like training, certification, and a sense of community. With virtual and in-person training options, there's a place to be and a place to see how to get the very best from Kong and from a large and ever-growing group of experts and best practices associated with it. So with over 2.7 million instances of Kong running worldwide, I think we better understand our users' needs every single day that we, we operate this and we, we rise to meet them. In the last 12 months alone, we've shipped more than a thousand, sorry, more than a hundred product releases across the board and serviced over four and a half thousand requests for training, educational content and support. So this is just really about ensuring our customers have everything they need to keep up. And that's hugely important to us. So another big summit announcement we had was the launch of Kong Istio Gateway. This means Kong Gateway now supports Istio Gateway integration. This allows you to expose Istio services within the Kong Gateway to provide full API lifecycle management. So starting today, you can leverage the full library of the Kong plugins and features to expose Istio services running in Kubernetes to external API consumers. For companies already using or considering Istio, this announcement will, will sort of help make their teams more comfortable to adopt it by allowing Kong to cover all of the gaps in terms of security and control. We spoke earlier, Nick, about how Kong can help organizations take a design first approach to API development using Insomnia, our collaborative API client and design tool. And we've taken that collaboration uh, aspect a step further with our announcement of Insomnia projects. Projects lets developers share their Insomnia API collections and allows teams to share notes and best practices. This is better collaboration across teams and higher quality, more useful and business relevant APIs than ever before. And to be honest, who wouldn't want that? On the runtime front, 
Kong Gateway 2.6 was also announced at Summit with a key focus on performance enhancements and some additional important functionalities. With this latest release of the Gateway, latency was cut by over 30% and throughput was increased by 12. So considering Kong was already the fastest API gateway, these, re these results are actually quite impressive. Some of the new features announced alongside Kong Gateway 2.6 include a JQ plugin to slice and dice API request and resp response messages in JSON format, and a hand enhancing our support for Kafka with mutual TLS and SASL support. And if you don't know what SASL is, look, it's a framework for authentication and data security which I know has been a common request from our customers. Alongside Gateway 2.6, we also announced Kong Mesh, version, Kong Mesh version 1.5. This release includes Windows support, which we know is important to many customers, as well as some additional capabilities around hybrid discovery across heterogeneous platform zones. And there's also additional support for multi-cloud and multi-cluster roles-based access control, as well as OpenID Connect integration enforcement. So if you're busy building lots of microservices, then you know, I suggest you check that out. Uh, speaking of authentication and access control, we also took the opportunity at Summit to announce support for Okta within Kong Connect. This single sign-on support includes uh, you know, role-based mapping and one-click integration with Okta for our Kong uh, Connect SaaS offering. So stay, stay tuned on that one for more announcements around single sign-on support within Kong Connect going forward. And then wrapping all of this up was a new product, you know, wrapped around all of those new product announcements was uh, a one more thing from our CEO, Aggie, which is tradition for him. And that one more thing was Wasmx. Wasmx brings the power of WebAssembly to Kong users. It's available today as a technical preview and can be used to create custom plugins for Kong and to extend the gateways capabilities in a powerfully language agnostic fashion. The idea of allowing developers to bring their language, their program language of choice to Kong for the purposes of extending its functionalities or even reusing existing Envoy filters is a powerful and inclusive way to ensure that the fastest possible innovation on Kong occurs. So few, there was a lot there, but I think you'll see from that, Nick, that you know we don't sit still. We're actively listening to our customers and making sure that we're not only delivering the capabilities they need to be successful today, but we're also thinking about what's next and how we can help bring the best of Kong to our customers' future ambitions and roadmaps as well. Brilliant, cool. Um, I've got one more question for you, Brad. It is, um, if a partner or enterprise end user wanted to engage with Kong, what is the best way? Look, come and talk to us. If, if you're challenged by complexity or finding it hard to stitch together that modern enterprise, to allow data to flow more freely into the digital enterprise that you're trying to improve, then you know, Kong might well be the answer. We know how important connectivity is to ensure and you can retain a leading position in the race through digitization. And we understand how to embrace the right culture needed to make it a success. So you look, I would suggest reach out. We'd be delighted to share all the experience and knowledge we have around making you successful. And there is a wealth of information on our website on the benefits of Kong for developers, architects, IT managers and even business owners. So come and see what our customers are up to, you know, and we're all we're always more than happy to help. Brilliant. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, that's it for today's interview. Thanks for coming on today, Brad. Thank you very much, Nick. It was a pleasure. Thank you.